Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm taking a look at another game that you can totally use in class. This is an educational type of a video game that is called Celestial Command and it's actually uh, still in early access, it's still in alpha, but it's already quite playable and quite fun. And it's also really cheap, so it's actually something that I would definitely recommend. Let me show you what it's like. And this is what the game looks like. Essentially, you're orbiting a planet right here, and you're this little tiny spaceship. You can actually control it with WASD keys, and it follows Newtonian um, physics, meaning that if you move a little bit, you'll keep moving in a direction. Now, just like Kerbal Space Program, here you can essentially orbit around various planets and even um, other planets in your solar system. But it's relatively difficult, just like in Kerbal Space Program, this is very realistic. Uh, it, it includes limited fuel, limited um, resources, but fortunately there's uh, things you can do. There's little missions you can create for yourself to try to um, basically achieve various things. So for example, one of my first missions can be trying to reach one of these asteroids and start mining it. And the cool thing about this game is that it actually allows you to build up your ship on the spot. So right now I can actually um, construct various modules for my ship. I can actually give it a few things just so it starts maybe flying a little bit better. So let's, let's give it a new engine and let's give it a little bit more pro uh, propulsion. And building in this game is actually super fun. So all you need to do is uh, select one of the modules right here. So let's just say, um, now I have, I believe these are solar panels. What else do I need? I need to build, I need to build an engine actually. I need to build a fuel generator and an engine. So let's, let's build a few more corridors. I'm gonna build some more corridors right here and um, attach um, a fuel generator and also an engine. And as you can see, it's super easy to build uh, your ship. Uh, it's built almost automatically, or also almost instantly by this bot right here. And all you need to do is select a module and, and start building it. As you construct your ship and as it becomes bigger and heavier, it's actually a lot um, diff more difficult to control. So you need to attach more fuel tanks and more, um, what are these called? I think they're called uh, maneuvering engines, that's right. So I'm actually going to put the two more maneuvering engines with a fuel tank. And this will give me a more maneuverability. So let's put a small fuel tank right here. And then a small fuel tank right here, and the maneuvering engine on top of it. One here, and then one over here. So, building the ship here is actually super fun. I think if I were to use this in class, students would probably love this, because it allows you to create various designs. And there's also weapons here, because uh, some of the um, uh, planets, including this planet, I think, have various spaceships flying around them that actually will attack you, so you need to try to protect your ship. Now, you don't actually die in this game, um, and you can always recreate a new, uh, your previous ship from scratch um, just by clicking a button. I think it's actually here. Uh, where is it? New ship. There you go. All you need to do is click on new ship and it will construct another ship that is right here. There's a copy of my ship right here. Um, so you don't actually die in here, but you do lose your modules. So you need to be careful with them. Um, now, the cool thing about this, and this is what I like about it, is that there's quite a lot of math involved. And math here is easily available to you, and it's right here. And also, um, right here, if you click on, I think it's inventory. There you go. Um, so this sh shows you your, shows you your uh, fuel. So if you look at this, as I'm using my engines, my fuel decreases. And as I'm using my engines, my um, apoapsis and periapsis uh, uh, change as well. And these are my orbital... Um, uh, distances from basically from where I am right now from uh, this is the highest orbit this is the lowest orbit from the planet there's also eccentricity of my orbit there is orbital period and um, tangential velocity which is basically if I were to draw a line that doesn't uh, that only touches this um, orbit at one point this line uh, would be a tang tangent and velocity at that line is shown right here and also angular velocity and angular velocity shows how um, how many degrees per second I actually travel. So there's quite a lot of information here, and this is um, this is excellent for like a geometry class where you, you might be studying um, analytical geometry when you where you're studying ellipses and um, various elliptical shapes. And this is a perfect way of calculating those uh, different shapes. So for example, I can actually go ahead and try to change my orbit by moving my ship uh, slightly. I'm gonna try to do it right now. Let's move it. Let's change our orbit a little bit. Let's change our eccentricity. I'm going to blast my engines straight ahead and my orbit will change and so will the shape of my ellipse. So there you go. It's slightly different now. It's a little bit more elliptical. Um, so eccentricity has increased and I'm now moving in a very different orbit. 
So there's quite a lot of really awesome things that you can do here. But the, what I like about it is that you can actually build things up and you can land on asteroids and, and um, you can then try to mine them and turn them into fuel. This is actually pretty fun. I'm going to try to do it right now. I'm actually going to try to construct an engine right here and uh, try to blast my ship away from this orbit. And to mine the asteroid, I'm going to put a grabber unit right here, which will attach me to the asteroid. And I'm also going to put a mining drill that will actually mine the asteroid. Um, all right, so let's... Uh, oh, I need a, I still need an engine. I don't have an engine. All right, so I changed my orbit a little bit. I'm hoping to have an encounter one of these asteroids. Meanwhile, let's deploy our solar panels. Start producing energy. And what else can I do here? I think I can also... Oh, no. I can't do anything else and I have no power oh no I have no fuel in there that's not good how am I gonna blast my engines and here's an asteroid right here I'm gonna try to connect to it and to do this I just basically need to smack into it with my face or the front part of my ship um, my ship is really big right now and I actually did not realize that, that when I construct a fuel tank I get no fuel inside and I totally forgot how to actually um, how to change um, how, how to refuel my tanks and so I'm kind of stuck here but I know that as soon as I connect to this I'll be able to drill it and then I'll be able to create fuel so hopefully this will work let's try to connect to this asteroid and start drilling it oh no someone is shooting me I was waiting for the uh, asteroid landing and this enemy started shooting me so this is what happens when you basically um, someone attacks you you lose your, um, you lose your engines, you lose your parts. You don't actually die, but you just lose uh, things one by one. Uh, as long as you have your bot right here, you can still rebuild your ship, so it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, but it's still, it's kind of, it's kind of sad to see your ship being destroyed. So I'm gonna have to wait, I possibly even restart if if this um, turret destroys me, which it might actually, because it's pretty close to me. And one of the features that will make this game really awesome is the multiplayer. Um, they actually will be adding multiplayer version later on. I mean, this game is only like two months old. Uh, it's uh, December 2014 right now, and it's, it really came out only about two months ago. And um, so don't expect much. It's still early release, but it will be updated and will become much, much better, much more interesting, much more fun. Uh, they're, all planning, and they're planning to add uh, other solar systems that you can then explore. And all of this will be procedurally generated, so it's always going to be random. But uh, for me, what's exciting is having um, multiplayer allows me to basically have all my students working in the same solar system and either racing or working as a team and trying to achieve a goal. And I mean, this is great for earth sciences class, for physics class, for math class. It combines a lot of various uh, ideas together. And um, I mean, this would be so much fun to do with friends, with students. On, on the same um, on the same network basically just trying to get something done and I mean this is this is relatively challenging even right now I'm still trying to reach that silly asteroid oh, I missed it again uh, maybe next uh, next orbit uh, but basically yes I'm trying to attach to it so I can start mining and this is actually the simplest mission uh, these missions will get more and more complicated as you try to you know get out of um, get, get out of this orbit and into the orbit around another planet or as you try to actually escape the solar system. So anyway, so let's wait and see if I can actually make it to that silly, silly asteroid. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. No, 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 no. It's going to smack me into me. Oh, that is so not good. I'm not really. Okay, I kind of landed on it, but that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, well, you know what? That's actually good enough. Let me see if I can, if I can actually create um, a mining thingy-majig right next to it right here that could probably work yeah that's gonna work uh, where's my mining thing okay not exactly how I envisioned it but this is a pretty good connection that I have with this asteroid sort of sideways I guess uh, nose pointing away from it and uh, right here I have oh it's aluminum okay that's I guess good enough um, so now if I create um, if I actually stop my drill for a second and I create a, 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 an ore container right here somewhere, I will start filling it up with aluminum. And my drill starts working and this container will start filling aluminum. And obviously this I can then use to produce various things. Now, unfortunately this game doesn't actually have any use for aluminum yet, but it does have use for ice. You can actually 
If there's ice here. Oh, there's ice right here. Hmm. Now, how do I reach it? I know how. I'm gonna try to uh, make my way around it using construction. And there we go. I built this uh, kind of a pathway around the asteroid into the ice field and now I'm mining ice. I can now use this to actually create fuel and then essentially create uh, enough fuel for me to, to go traveling around. Um, and I just realized that as I was shifting the asteroid around, I actually accidentally escaped uh, um, orbit around the planet and we're now in an orbit around the, sol uh, the sun, the, the star that we were orbiting. And actually it's my orbit is slowly uh, decreasing surprisingly so let's actually see if we we might accidentally crash into the sun so we need to hurry up and start making fuel out of this ice so that I can actually um, escape un unharmed and here's my first fuel making machine thing magic so I have my ice uh, fuel generator that converts ice into water and then water into oxygen and hydrogen and I can then transfer this hydrogen into my um, fuel tanks right here that will then propel my ship. So I'm gonna do this right now and transfer all of my fuel into my other tanks. Oh no, my asteroid exploded. I don't know what happened. I think it's because it's still Alpha. I accidentally destroyed the asteroid, which means that I'm about to smack right into the sun. So let's see what happens when that happens. Um, I was about to actually create another spaceship and I had had it refueled. I was going to actually go and explore the open space and land on another planet, but instead I'm going to actually land on the sun. Oh, it's getting really hot in here. Okay, that's it. Uh, but luckily, all you need to do is create... Oh, it's already created for me. Never mind, there, there you go. Here's my new ship. And I can just basically start exploring again uh, from where I, I left off, essentially. So this is me flying around the sun. And I can actually go ahead and try to land on another planet if I actually wanted to. And so I could try to execute um, Hoffman's uh, orbital change maneuver and try to land on the planet. Um, anyway, so this is the game in a nutshell. It's actually pretty awesome. There's quite a lot of things you can do and so many more things coming out um, uh, You know, in the future. They've, they have quite a lot of things planned. You can check them out on their website. But I'm really excited about multi the multiplayer feature because... Being able to play this with other people and doing um, all these things together will actually be really, really fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of the other educational game uh, games I've already take, uh, taken a look at. And specifically, look at the games that you can use in your class. Because some of these games I've already used in mine and they work absolutely amazing. Um, and this is the game that I would definitely consider using in the future. Thank you and game you later, alligators. Bye-bye.